Police in South Bend, Indiana, speaking out over Mayor Pete's handling of an officer-involved shooting. Unidentified officers telling Fox News, quote, it's been really demoralizing and hard to come to work lately. Another adding, quote, I think you're going to see a mass exodus. Our administration is a joke. Here with more is president of the South Bend Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 36, Harvey Mills. Thanks for being with us, Harvey. Good morning. Good morning. So for folks that don't live in your area, tell us what's happening there and why are police officers saying things like that? Uh, since uh, uh, Sergeant O'Neill uh, was forced to defend himself and then and, uh, and shot a suspect. Um, Who had a knife, right? The, Eric Logan had a knife and he was defending himself? Absolutely, yep. An eight-inch hunting knife um, and uh, charged at O'Neill and he was forced to defend himself. Um, we feel that's completely justified. All the evidence that uh, we know of points that direction. And uh, while the investigation is not complete yet, um, uh, you know, uh, the mayor has uh, already said that this officer is you know, going to be held accountable. Um, this, uh, this officer has actually resigned since then um, uh, as a result of stress. Yeah. Uh, you say that the morale is shattered within the police department. Do you blame Mayor Pete for that? I think a lot of it is the city administration. Yeah, sure. Why? What there has he things, done? Uh, uh, not a lot. Um, you know, for instance, uh, we hold uh, a memorial service every year uh, for the 15 officers that have died in the line of duty at our police department, and I don't recall a single one that he's attended. Uh, we've had senators and Congress people um, and uh, local officials from from elsewhere, but uh, I've, I've not seen him at one of our memorial services, and that's that's demoralizing. Harvey, we woke up to some video that um, was made public this morning of police officers being soaked with water and buckets thrown at their heads while they're trying to arrest someone. Watch this video. Oh my God, they came over here to talk to them that they violated. Yo, they violated them. They violated them. No, they violated them. Oh, they not stopping. Oh. Harvey, that video in Brooklyn and then another incident happening in Harlem, you're shaking your head no. It's hard to watch, right? It is. It's uh, very worrisome. What's your reaction? Um, uh, emotional right now because uh, I, 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 I don't know the, those officers' exact, exact situation, but um, I'm guessing that somewhere in their administration there's a there's a there's a break uh, law uh, you know something something broken because uh, police officers should not have to deal with that uh, that's assault that's battery yeah um, I was surprised those officers right there didn't turn around and arrest the people that were throwing water on top of them one kid runs up and just dumps a bucket of water look at that right there on top of the officer the mm -hmm. officer um, is he's he um, demonstrates so much restraint. What would you do in that situation? Uh, it, it, it's really hard to say. I don't know all the circumstances there, but uh, certainly police on a, a, a assault on a police officer uh, demands an arrest. Yeah, it's really sad. Well, Harvey, yes. thank you for your service, and thanks for being with us this morning. You're welcome.